To disassemble the model C712 or C713, you will need the following items. Two cleaning and sanitizing pails. Sanitizer. The brushes provided with the freezer. And single service towels. With a pail beneath the door spouts, open the draw valve and press the wash and pump buttons. Drain the product from the freezing cylinder and the hopper. When the flow of the product stops, press the wash and pump buttons, canceling the wash and pump modes. Close the draw valve. Remove the cotter pin, mix feed tube, pump clip, and the assembled air mix pump. Repeat these steps for the other side of the machine. To rinse the machine, pour two gallons of cool, clean water into the mix hopper. With the white hopper brush, scrub the mix hopper and the mix level sensing probe. Use the medium sized white brush to clean the mix inlet hole. With a pail beneath the door spouts, raise the prime plug and press the wash button. When a steady stream of rinse water is flowing from the prime plug opening in the bottom of the freezer door, open the draw valve. Drain all the rinse water from the door spout. Close the draw valve and push the prime plug down. Press the wash button, canceling the wash mode. Repeat this procedure using clean warm water until the water being discharged runs clear. Repeat these steps for the other side of the machine. To clean the hopper, mix two gallons of warm water with an approved cleaning solution. With the prime plug pushed down, pour the solution into the hopper. Allow the solution to flow into the freezing cylinder. Using the white hopper brush, clean the mix hopper and the mix level sensing probes. Using the double-ended brush, clean the mix inlet hole. Press the wash button. This will cause the cleaning solution in the freezing cylinder to come in contact with all areas of the freezing cylinder. Wait at least five minutes before proceeding with these instructions. Raise the prime plug. Open the draw valve. Draw off all the solution. Once the cleaning solution stops flowing from the door spout, close the draw valve and the prime plug. Press the wash button, canceling the wash mode. Repeat these steps on the other side of the machine. To disassemble the machine, first make sure the power switch is off. Remove the hand screws, freezer door, beater and scraper blades, and drive shaft with drive shaft seal from the freezing cylinder. Remove the drive shaft seal from each drive shaft. From each pump cylinder, remove the retaining pin mix inlet adapter, valve cap, pump gasket, and the piston. Remove the O-ring from the piston and valve cap. Remove the freezer door gaskets, the front bearings, the pivot pin, the draw handles, the draw valves, the prime plugs, and the design caps. Remove the O-rings from the draw valves, Remove the pump drive shafts from the drive hubs in the rear wall of the mix hoppers. Remove the front drip tray and the splash shield. Remove all the drip pans and take them to the sink for cleaning. Thoroughly brush clean all disassembled parts in cleaning solution, making sure all the lubricant and mix film is removed. Be sure to brush all surfaces and holes especially the holes in the pump components and the draw valve holes in the freezer door. Rinse all parts with clean, warm water. Place the parts on a clean, dry surface to air dry overnight. Return to the freezer with a small amount of cleaning solution and use the black brush to clean the rear shell bearing at the back of each freezing cylinder and the drive hub opening in the rear wall of each mix hopper. Wipe all exterior surfaces of the freezer with a clean, sanitized towel. 
Following the procedures presented in this video will result in many hours of trouble-free operation of your C712 and C713 soft serve machine and will significantly contribute to a long and useful operational life.